Welcome to Florence Mayenda, <clears throat> excuse me, um, our fifth live video link, uh, today being a Wednesday, normally do it on a Monday, the odd time I've done it on a Tuesday, but there you go, today is Wednesday. So Paul is just starting off with a random view around the shop and give you an idea of what's on available um, this week and every week more or less. So today I'm going to do a... Um, a ceramic arrangement. Um, so I'm going to try and not rock. That's this rock and bounce <laughs> core. I'm trying not to do that today. So this is your average flower pot, cover pot container is what we call this. We all have them in our houses, different shapes, different colours, but generally they're that size. I have loads of them in my shed, so I'm definitely going to take one out and do something with it now. <laughs> yeah, okay, Paul. Don't send in the photograph of that one. Anyhow. So there we go. So we start off with the block of oasis that's pre-soaked. And judging by what I need for this would be about a half a block. You can put it up there and you can measure it. So this, the oasis is done there. It's marked in quarter, it's already in thirds. So one, two, three thirds. It's just a little above the halfway mark. So I'm going to actually do two thirds on this because I need a little bit of um, oasis over the length, sorry, over the rim of the pot. So here we go there, don't need that chap. So with this, again, like I have said before about uh, putting oasis in, don't use your fingers. It makes it spongy, use your hand. And every time so far it's fitted perfectly first time. So let's see. Yeah. So there we go, hand in. And press it down and he there you go he does it again so it, yeah <laughs> and I don't need tape and I don't need to wedge oasis into this okay so there's plenty of room for water and always water um, really if once a day just give it and it just once a day just put a dribble in um, and it just keeps the oasis fresh because all the water is going to run to the bottom and like as I had said before about putting the flowers in good and firm that's the reason for that. So the water is running to the bottom and you get the... Um, they last longer. They, well, yes, that's the plan. So this is Aspidestra. So I'm just going to take a bit of the dust off it there. Um, so I'm going to use two Aspidestras today. Back up. Um, just going to give it a rub down, get a bit of the heavy dust off it before I use the leaf shine. Again, a knife. Here we go. So with the knife, good sharp point, like before, as I've always said. And this time, I'm not doubling this up. I'm going to wrap it around. So in at an angle, at the back of the arrangement, down at the rim, at a slant, and in. It's just to catch it. Mm. And... Should I have these? Oh, God. Where are they? Sorry about this, should I have these ready? That's yeah. all right, I'm uh, looking at Oshin as we speak. Take your time. Oh, yeah. I think he's gone to sleep now. He is, he's <laughs> well wanted. Um, so anyhow, so with that in there, and bring catching it by the, the tip of the aspidestra, bring it right around close to the edge of the pot, cool. and to that side there, holding it there like that. Mm -hmm. These are called German pins or elephant pins, but mostly German pins are known as, and that just slots into the leaf, into the oasis. You'd hardly know it was there. And it holds it nice and firm. So that's the front, and maybe it could be the back of the arrangement. We'll see. So <laughs> anyhow, with the second aspidestra, this one I am going to twist and turn and, and shape and all that. So again, nice sharp point, as I've said before. And like this, um, so I'm going to turn it around and but near the spine of the leaf, just pierce it right through. Mm. Oh, get it in there. Uh, right. There we go. So in there, I'm going to turn the leaf, twist it. So it's completely kind of, con Ooh. it's completely contorted. And the old way, I just need it nowhere near as long as it is. So in there and slot that into the oasis there. Mm. So that's, and this little bit staying up is unwelcome, so goodbye. Gone. Gone. So with that, I'm going to use a little bit of leaf shine as I go along with this one. Mm. Okay, so that's, in two easy steps, the whole outside of that pot is covered. So that's great. Cool. Oh yeah, sorry about that. Sorry. I don't need the elephant pins anymore, German pins, they're gone. So with the next part, I'm going to use some of these kind of 
excuse me, bleached twigs. I really want three of them. Okay, so sometimes, but not today, but sometimes you're best, if you're doing a big, 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 big arrangement, you'd put these all in together, all at the same time. But because of the oasis, it's quite small in this pot, I'm just going to uh, put them in individually, but I'm putting them together because I want to feel what length I want them. I'm going to cut them there. Now to kind of get an idea of the height of this, put it to there. Put it down to the counter. It won't be as low as that. It'll be about there. But that's about the height I need this. We have six viewers now in there. Oh, great. Leave people. your comments, guys. Interaction. We'd love to hear yeah. what you think. Or where you're and our from. love heart. Uh. <laughs> Somebody loves me. <laughs> Another love heart. <laughs> oh, God, I'm waiting. I'm getting overexcited now. <laughs> so there you go. So at the side of the arrangement, I've put the twigs in at a slight, um, a slight leaning back towards me, but just slight. Would that be called angle? It can be called <laughs> whatever you want. <laughs> whatever you want. So that's it there. So that's the three though. So this time I've pre-picked out flowers. So, oh, which good. is amazing. So yeah, we wow, have, oh, look at all these guys. That one. <laughs> so I'm going to move Chappie out of the way here. So we have one peony. Wow, yeah. One peony, which there is nice. Is there, yeah. Yeah. Peony, yeah. Um, I have four. Um, I, what was the word I was looking for this? Um, I, I've shaped them myself. Um, and the reason why I've shaped them myself is I want anthuriums in it. I don't want them as large as they were. But I cannot sell this arrangement once it's done. I can't give it away or anything because as soon as you put a scissors to anthuriums, the edges go brown. So you can't really manipulate them. But I did it this time because I want to. Okay. And, and, and I'll show, you know, what I'm saying is I just love the, the contour of the leaf of the mm. flower and all that. It'll suit this arrangement down to the land. So for them... We've got two cactus heads, which are all the rage now in weddings. So it's just a cactus head with a stick shoved into it. There you go. But and all what, the rage. What, what's a cactus head? Is it's it, a cactus. Is it, is, is it or wood? It's a or? succulent. Really, I suppose it's a succulent more so than a cactus, actually. I'm wrong there. So it's succulent. And it's used a lot in vintage style bouquets in a, in, uh, for weddings. Cool. So this, it's lovely with pink, having a huge amount of pink. So this one is a lovely, lovely Xantidisha Calla Lily. And uh, we used ones in pink, I think, the last time. So this is a lovely cream one with a very deep purple center, as you can see. So I'm, I'm not going to use all of these flowers, but this is the selection. This is purple Lysianthus, as you can see. It'll match in with that one, lovely. Um, and this is the single, could be, the, no, that's the single flower Lysianthus. Then we have two white beautiful headed um well they're actually ivory roses called avalanche and this one here is ming fern followed by rubellini hello and pittosporum here all right ming so, fern anything to do with flash gordon no no it's ming, <laughs> ming dynasty i've no idea flash gordon, gordon <laughs> is, what's he doing to me but anyhow right so i'm going to start get this chat back yes it's going to be in front of me a hey, presto there you go so again, quite a, um, a what you call it, simplistic -y arrangement. So like what I did with the fish bowls here a couple of weeks ago, I'm going to take the skin, but not as much skin off this as I did. See, it's not as, as bendy. I actually need to take a bit more skin off that because... I'm 11 viewers, Enda. Wow, that's great, guys. Thanks very much for leave uh, your comments, guys. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Any questions? Any so wonders I'm or this thoughts? In at the well, Paul is rambling on there. I'll just <laughs> keep talking here. Uh, I'm going to put this in at the side and in quite firm of the uh, the twigs. And with that, I'm going to just get a piece of silver wire and I'm going to tie this lily. With the silver wire to one of the twigs. I was wondering how that was going to stand up. Yeah, it won't stand, stand at all otherwise. And if I didn't have a shake in my hand, I'd have this done about five minutes ago. But there you go. That's all right. You take your time. We look at now, the flowers. Now, I just want to just bend that over. I'm not going to finish it 
off as such because I want to do something with it afterwards. So that's one in there. One done. Again, take the skin. Sorry, I have the wire in my mouth. I didn't think I'd have to take two dots of skin off that, but obviously I do. So the next one's going in front of that. I'll turn this around in a second into the oasis. A bit harder to do when you have the um, skin taken off. What did I do that where There it is. When you have the skin taken off. So I'm going to reassure the stem, if that's the right word. God, I hate these hard focal glasses, I'm telling you. Reassure the stem, make them feel good. <laughs> well, not reassure them, whatever it is. It's something I want to do with the no, stem. No, that's, that's good. So anyhow, and then the third calla lily. So you see the way it's giving a ninth shape with the wibbly wobbly um, uh, stems there. So yeah. this one, a bit shorter, more uh, skin off that scars. Anyhow, scars in my own mind, but anyhow, means nothing to anybody else. But sure, there you go. Oh, what was that? What's nothing, gas? I'm rambling. <laughs> so in there, and just get another piece of this silver wire. No, what I was saying was gas was I was thinking to myself that the skin off these, I'd only have to take a bare amount. But then as soon as I had taken it off, I was going to go, and, oh, okay, I need to take one off. <laughs> there you go. I can't get it right all the time. This will be it. I hope my stomach isn't showing too much in this. No one can hear me saying that, which is fine. So that's it. So that's where we're going with that. So you wow, can see cool. the shape the shape and this one's coming forward so you can really see the visual the inside of that color so turning him back around again I'll trim these off afterwards so I'm going to use the next piece I'm going to use are these green anthuriums now these are going to go in quite you know rigid and upright as such and all roughly Roughly the same height. I'm going to stagger them. Yeah, I think I'll stagger them a little bit. Two. This one in here. Three. This one. It's starting to take shape. It's starting to take shape. I need to inject a bit of colour into it, so I'll do that now in a second. So yes, I am putting this flower here in the back. Your eye is still going to be drawn. Um, when you're doing a front face and arrangement, you really have to do it all around. So your your visual will take, um, will you know what I mean? That it, it's not a flat bouquet or an arrangement. If you're coming in this side, all you see is foliage and oasis. That's no good. So you need to have some colour, some flair at the back. So like that, that's how that is going. Mm. Okay. So you see this this rigid form here, this nice curve, wibbly wobbly thing going on there. So that's that part of it. Now, I'm just going to introduce the colour. So there's about three nice stems. I might even get four nice stems off this uh, purple Lysianthus. Um, so just clean down a couple of stems. Need to give it a nice clean, as I say, as always. So this is going to go in here and under the anthurium. There we go. There, I'll bring it. Oh, yeah, you can come around anyhow. Yeah. So there's the colour is beginning to come through. And this one then, sorry, I have to move it around. I'm not good. Some people can do back the front arrangements. I'm not one of them. <laughs> I need to see what I'm doing. So like that, I'm just really using the very small tips of this just to bring the colour through. And then I'm going to do a band with the, the main colour. Oh, I'm not going to do that there. See? We're getting thumbs up and likes and good things. Good stuff. So, so you can all do one of these at home with those lovely potted things, these things, cover box things. I shouldn't say things. I'm going to get wrapped for that one. But anyhow, peony rose, big puppy. This is the fluffy. one that smells really nice, isn't oh, it? <laughs> it's gorgeous. Sorry, if I was camp doing that, I'd do it again. <laughs> oh, gorgeous. So anyhow, really short, pointy end, slap bang, down deep into the arrangement. So there you go. We're very close to the end, as you can see. That's that, gorgeous. That's really, yeah, it is lovely. It's turning mm. out really nice. So that's that part of it. So with the succulent, again, short. Oh, I need to use the knife for this one. So I'm going to use, I was looking at a space over here, but I'm actually going to put it in here if I haven't cut it too short. Have I cut it too short? Nah, I won't go in there. 
Okay, so we're going to cut it to the front here. One there. One in. Ah, thank you, Tara Lewis. Ooh. She says, that's gorgeous. And it is. It's Thanks, Tara. Flowers by Enda. Thank you. Tara is waiting for it, to, for it to snow. She's the only person in the world I know who just can't wait for winter so it'll snow. Isn't that right, Tara? Skier. <laughs> oh, God, no. No, no. She just loves messing with me head, I think, because she knows I hate the snow. <laughs> now, so white rose. And I'm going to get this chap. I need to get a flower in here to support this calla. Um, so I'm going to really get that in there. Okay. Should I put it in there? Probably not. I don't know if it's the right spot for it. But anyhow, it's there now. I'm going to use some um, of this lovely... The variegation always looks well, of the pittus form always looks lovely against green and white. Um, it's a really nice... Now, in a way... Yeah, in you come. In a way, I probably should get my foliage in first. But with, that's the great thing about pittus form is that it allows you to add in, oh, get out of my way. There we go, in there. So I've supported this stem here with the rose and the pittus form, and I have to do the same with the back. The reason why I'm supporting, I suppose, is that because I took the skin off it, it has weakened the stem as it is, and also for the fact that it's on the very edge of the oasis. The stem of the pittus form really acts like a, um, a support, you know, like a tree support thing, stake. Another yeah. comment, that's fab, Enda. Thank you. If anybody has any natural um, remedies for a bloody shake, uh, I'm not talking about a bloody Mary, I'm talking about a shake <laughs> in the hand, uh, please let me know. Now, so that's it more or less. Um, I'm just going to put in a small bit. See, I'm not using the other rose, I don't need it. The little bit of Ming Fern is going to give in there just for a little bit of fluffiness. And yeah, I'm going to use one more piece. And if I don't use this piece, I'm going to take both of them out, but I'll see how it works. In you go, lads. Oh, Lord. There we go. 11 viewers again. 11 viewers again. Nearly so, there. I'm done. So that is that arrangement. I was going to use the silver wire and put it through somehow, but I think it just ru ruined the, the simplicity of it. So that is a your average um, what the ceramic arrangement. Um, yeah, so there you go, with a nice selection of flowers. I try not in these videos uh, to use carnations and croissants because we can get them everywhere, but there will be times where I will need to use them, but just not at the moment. Now, the other thing while I have you on, there's a great um, idea after springing to life from um, a friend of mine uh, who has a florist in Athlone. She told me about it, Lorna. And it's called the Lonely Bouquet. And the Lonely Bouquet is where you, um, where I, I should say, will place um, a bouquet or two somewhere around Blessington, Ballymore, Ballynock and Denard and Lavin somewhere around the area, Ratmore, wherever, but somewhere around the area and in the town. And attached to it will be a tag. And on the tag it will say, um, uh, hope this uh, brightens up your day or, one second, or something to that effect. This is the tag we're going to use. Oh, we might even get a shot of this, will we? Okay, so that's what I'm Let's going see. to use. So it says... I'm all alone and looking for a new home. Perhaps I can live with you or a loved one. Our flower friends would love to hear from us and let them know where we ended up. Please let them know at Facebook The Lonely Bokeh or Facebook Flowers by Enda for more information. So sometime between now and this Saturday, the 2nd of July, I will be placing one of the one or two of these. It's a small bouquet. But it's just the whole idea, I think, is fantastic. I think it's such a great idea and to brighten up somebody's day somewhere. So um, let and us if, know. If you pick up the bouquet, you take a photo of it and post it on the either page. Yeah, that's what you do. So um, again, great idea. 
Um, I've been on long enough. And uh, thanks very much for watching. Bye bye! bye.